heard all the intellects come up and talk, compliment this and that and everything, but I have yet to hear anybody talk about creation. Just think about what I'm going to say. No matter how much money you got, or how big an army, you have nothing if we continue to let the air become polluted with our materialism and technology, we have nothing if the water is being polluted by our technology, our materialism. We have nothing if Mother Earth is dead. We have forgot the things that is our foundation. And because we forgot about Mother Earth and creation, we have forgot about our own two-legged women, the givers of life. That's why I tell today, we are the majority, and we don't need to vote. Today we have enough people, that if we could get together in unity, we could make this place disappear in all its security. I said, no, thank you. Today, man is in the worst shape he's ever been since the beginning of time. And look at all the education you got. Come on, tell me about your education. I never went to school. I understand the true meaning that the great spirit gave us. Maybe you want to call the great spirit Jehovah, Buddha, Allah, the great mystery. children, beautiful flowers in the garden. You talk about racism. It wasn't here when you came or it wasn't here when they brought you. You brought it here. And I want our black brothers out there to remember the first slave that escaped in this country, this western hemisphere, was taken in by my ancestors. From day one, we became blood brothers. That's why I said we are the majority. If we could get it through our heads to find some sort of unity, we wouldn't need to vote, we wouldn't need to do anything that the educational system says we have to do. How many of you speak your own language? How many of you know your own nationality other than black? I would advise everyone, if you would read the Green Book, written by our brother, beautiful brother, Colonel Muammar Gaddafi from the Jamaria. I know today that the world could change. Here's a man who's proven to the world that there is a better way. Free medicine, free education, you could go on and on. He got rid of drugs and alcohol, our people would die. But again, I say we should read the Green Book, put it in our hearts and our minds. And now they're telling me I have to stop, I have so much. We've given you over 500 years, and yet when we come to you, you give us less than 15, 20 minutes. Hello, hello, hello. This is